Ben's Fast Fireworks Tutorials. Hello, and welcome to Ben's Fast Fireworks Tutorials. This is my first fireworks tutorial, and I'm gonna today I'm gonna show you how to make a basic intertwining letters, and make a pretty cool logo out of it. Also, show you how to make a pretty cool background and using a cool web 2.0 effect. Okay, first we're going to start off fireworks, and let's begin. Make a width and height of our document, 500 pixels each. This just gives us a little bit working room. It will be reduced later, so we're going to click on OK, and here's our page. First, we're going to type in two letters. It can be random number, random letters or whatever. It can be your company name. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to use BD Design. So I'm going to type B, and I'm going to do a new thing. I'm going to do G. And I'm gonna, I'll enter in the design later, but we're going to make a cool interweaving effect. So first we're going to bring this up to the max size. And then we're going to go over to the resize here. And make them bigger. Okay. So now we're going to choose a color like a green or whatever you want. Or like a darker screen color. For the G, I'm going to choose a blue. A lighter blue. Just so there's enough contrast, but it's not too much. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the B, drag it over on top over here, make a copy of it, and then paste that below the G. So now we have it surrounding both sides here. And we're going to click on the top B. And then we're going to draw a box right over where they interlace right there. And then we're going to make that a white box. So we have a white box on top. And then go to the pointer. And we're going to hold down the shift and select both. So now both of them are selected. We're going to modify, mask, and then group as mask. So now it gives you a cool little effect there. So now what we can do is we can add a shadow to it. Now this is pretty cool. If we just add a shadow here, notice how it does not make a shadow over the actual uh, part where the G is because the G is in between the the one with the the B with the shadow is actually really underneath it, and the one that actually is overlapping it is actually on top of it. So that does not make a shadow. So and then we can also give this a shadow. So, now you may have to do a little bit of repositioning here because the shadows may just overlap a little. So, there you go. That's a pretty nice logo. But we're going to make it so it's a full logo. So, we're going to drag it over up here to the top. We're going to go to Control 5, which makes us zoom out more. And then we're going to go over to here, press the U key. And then we're going to make a, a oval. And we're going to make that a uh, yellow oval. We're going to drag that to the bottom. Now we're just going to drag it over a little so the points are outside of the thing. So you just see the one little quadrant. And we're going to take the subselection tool and kind of just drag it out so it doesn't look, just look like a thing. Okay, now this is what you're going to see. So it doesn't really matter how weird this looks over here. But that's really all that's going to show up. So that looks like a decent little side thing. And we're going to make another one. I'm going to drag that over again so the four things are outside of it. And this one should be in a different position than the other one. But instead we're going to change this to blue. And then this blue one, we're then going to change its opacity to around 6 or 7. Well, chain, take the subselection tool, and drag it down, so it kind of like halfway overlaps. You can really just play with this if you want, and just kind of tweak it so it looks pretty cool. Okay, so there is our basic little side thing. And we're almost done. I'm going to press the U again until we get a square. I'm going to draw a 
box around everything. Send that to the very bottom. Then we're going to give that box a gradient. And we'll give it a... Um, bluish gradient. Delete that. And it really actually doesn't matter how you do it. And um, well, we're going to take this, drag it up, and you can really make this whatever you want. Like, I use three colors, but you do, it really, really doesn't matter. I just made two there. It doesn't really matter. And so it looks a little bit nicer. And if we go, now that's not a logo, it looks a little worse out in the upper view, but this is what your logo will eventually look like. Now that looks pretty cool right now. And so basically now all we have to do is copy it. We can move that up a little. And then cop it. And there you go. It's a pretty neat looking logo. And then, you know, you can add really whatever, like, design. And you can really add any text you want and change it into the pot. But I'm going to keep it the same and maybe do a cool little thing here. And so, you can add a shadow or whatever. And there's a pretty cool logo. I mean, you can integrate this into your website. The only thing is that you'd have to expand this box out. So the gradient, you can finish the gradient and create other images. But I'm not going to get into that whole thing now. So that's basically a pretty cool logo with interlocking stuff. You can really use whatever letters you want, any logo you want. And you can use any colors for these. But it has a pr pretty decent logo. Okay. Thanks for watching my tutorial. I hope to see you again soon. Bye! Uh -huh.